from Crafts Names and Things, so I have some ATCs that I need to send out, and there's a video about how I made those. It's the one that's inspired by the musical notes that I'm doing for all, um, all creative, the Facebook group that I'm in. So um, these are actually the, my very first, this is my only my second ATC swap. I'm so excited. So I'm super excited. So I want to make something just pretty to put them in, you know, something special. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some nail, some nail art not nail art, nail art, but um, I kind of just want to create and I, you probably don't want to listen to me babbling for 30 minutes. So I'm just going to kind of tell you the supplies that I'm going to use and um, I'm just going to create and I'm going to go in fast motion. If you have any questions about specifics, I can repeat that in another video. Just let me know. But sometimes I just like to create, you know, like I'm not, I really don't have a clue what I'm doing. So, um, so it's not, yeah, so we're just going to have fun and we'll see where it goes. So for this, I think what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some um, decoupage medium. I have the white <coughs> envelopes. I get these um, from the thrift store, the ARC. They have them in huge packages um, with cards and I use the cards to make like um, journals. So definitely don't throw anything away, but it's, they're super cheap. So I just have some envelopes that I'm going to alter here. I have a butterfly stamp and then I wanted to kind of use, I'm going to actually use my own homemade gesso because like, don't you kind of hate that? Like when people make videos and they're like, oh yeah, you can totally make this yourself. And then they use all this expensive stuff. So I'm going to show you that I actually use the things that I make, like, you, they're usable. You can actually use the recipes that are on my channel. So on here, um, I have napkins in here. Um, I thought this was my, okay, I think it's in here. So in here, I have um, some stencils. So I'm going to use those. I probably won't use the napkins, but um, I am going to use like these recycled um, baby wipes that I use for a lot of my painting. So I'll be using some of those and cutting them up. And um, and probably some paints and just some bubble wrap. We won't really mess with um, the stencils. And just, um, I, I want to kind of do stuff that you guys, you know, that you have around your house. So you could totally do this craft very, very easily. This mill art that I'm going to do. Um, and then here I just have this box. All right, I'll go around you. Um, that I keep kind of all my scraps in. So, um, and I have a tutorial about how to make um, dyed filters which I love to use. They're so pretty and they turn out great. And you just use school markers. So I'm going to probably use some of those because I've been itching to use them. So we'll probably use those too. Okay. So um, I'm going to kind of silence you and we're going to go in fast motion and I'm just going to create some of these. Um, I have my hair dryer too, so you won't have to listen to that sound. And um, if you have any specifics about things that you want to see, please let me know. But I think you'll be able to follow everything that I'm doing. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so I will see you at the end to show you the results.
Hi guys, so I just wanted to show you how the Happy Meal turned out. So this will be going out tomorrow um, to some people. So um, for, with some ATC. So this is the one that I made with the stencil. I kind of like that. It's a little wonky, but I like it. But this just has so much texture. And um, with this napkin, I didn't actually um, use... Um, my um, gesso. I just wanted to see how it looked without, and the colors are much brighter than in the other ones, but it's beautiful. I really love this one with the hearts too. How cute is that? And then um, this one has um, the gesso on it. So this is my homemade gesso. I actually use the recipes that I post here, um, but I just love how it turned out. And it did kind of dull the cover color just like a real gesso would, and it has a lot of texture. Like you can hear it, you can hear all that texture, can't you? It's just delicious, okay? And then um, there's just all the texture too from those um, filters that I showed you how to make, and I'll put a link below for that. And um, with the, the baby wipes and the paper towels that I used too. But it's just beautiful. I love Happy Mail. So imagine getting something like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick, um, I'll just print. Um, for my computer the addresses and I'll just put it here so I'll put who it's going to in the front and then I'll fold down the flap and put my return address on the back okay just like that but it'll be beautiful and this is the other one that I love just pretty and I just added some slashes and, stu and stuff in there. And um, I got these markers um, that you saw me using from um, Tuesday mornings. They're called Artists is the name of them. But they're really pretty and they work really well. And um, they are permanent, which is awesome. So that's what I used. If you're interested in that, go to Tuesday mornings. I think it was like $7.99 for them. So that's not too bad. So those are good. And this one I just decided to leave plain, and I absolutely love it. This one is probably my favorite <laughs> with all the circles on it. So um, thank you so much for watching. I will have more Happy Mail um, videos since I have joined lots of groups that were used in Happy Mail, which I'm pretty excited about. But um, So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you next time. Thanks.